Hello? So, first thing first. We have some spare parts and we're gonna talk about them in a little bit. Let's get them to the van. A lot of people probably know what is that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my new car. The 2009 Z4 S-Drive 35i. The car is pretty dirty. The only specific place that has to be addressed the most, which is basically interior. And we're gonna talk about it in more details, but let's finish the exterior. The car look absolutely beautiful. And there's a couple things that need to be worked with. First, <laughs> we need to wash the car. I specifically didn't do anything to the car since I wanted to make a video about it. And after 500 miles of driving it, I figured out there are some things wrong with the car and some things actually needed to be fixed but about that one in a second as well the front headlight need to be polished we have a certain spot in there that need to be addressed compared to the passenger side it looks like brand new there's a whole bunch of vibrations some kind of dribbling inside of the interior then we have type of clicking spot or a rattling and the biggest concern it's coming from the turbochargers i would say uh wastegate but wastegate doesn't really rattle like that it's like metal to metal contact this one it sounds like a solar protective shielding or the heat shielding the paint is in kind of okay shape everywhere you look is pretty decent there's one dent after all the roof paint has to be maintained some of the rubber pieces has to be also refinished or i have the solution that we're not going to need to spend much time with that and it's going to get that plasticish rubberish look back to the parts that need to be addressed so i don't think i'm going to be getting into the roof uh, section the polishing since i don't have a garage and a quiet and kind of chill place to work with where i'm planning to concentrate is basically the interior there's a whole bunch of things that is wrong with the car and most of them it's a plastic pieces the door trims has to be refinished and we already have the video on the channel how to deal with that the steering as you can see the certain spots that has to be done something like best bet is going to be replaced that piece but i still think it's going to be easy enough to remove that paint and basically repaint same way the star stop button although it does not look that bad but it still need to be refinished which is relatively easy in the three series you would simply remove the one panel redo the button or repaint it or replace it in our case we have to remove pretty much a whole bunch of stuff another thing it's the buttons as you can see they start disintegrating steering wheel start disintegrating but i also don't think i'm going to be replacing that since it's not that bad and there's no spots there basically chunks are missing we're definitely going to try to fix that somehow i don't know i mean i did not check any type of um solutions for it yet but i'm working on it and that's going to be another thing another subject it's a top which is looks horrible i don't know what was going on with what i'm thinking to removing it and refinishing uh, with the black dye or fabric dye which is my gonna work my not another section it's those guys the plastic is rambling in there so we're going to be addressing that issue as well there's some other plastic in the car that is producing some noise and i don't know if you can hear it while we're driving but pretty much some of the stuff is basically making a noise the cool thing is the roof is not making any type of noise not neither squeaking neither rambling neither any kind that's uh awesome another thing that's the handle doesn't have any type of stickiness or it looks pretty good but it also feels plasticish so it's not like three series that had a whole bunch of sticky stuff on it that luxury layer it started disintegrating and blah 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 so this one it doesn't have such a problem the interior paint on the other hand looks pretty stunning there's a couple spots we wanted to work with so we're definitely going to be addressing that issue as you can see there are some spots that somebody was trying to like fix it or so and yeah let's open the roof because everybody liked that type of action like transformer
getting into the e-stuff. There are only seven faulty messages. The only faulty is direction uh, indicator, which is the rear left and rear right. I don't know if it's been replaced. It's because of the left one is not working correctly. The left, uh, the right one is also popping up. We're gonna try to fix that. We're gonna disassemble the signal and we'll see what is going on. One message is mixture control, which is, I don't know. It sounds like car is catless already since you've seen the pipes we had it in the trunk uh, the, for the catalyst system or the down pipes and it sounds like it doesn't have down pipes as you can hear the sound is crazy the pops are pretty high pitch and they strong. I don't think the OEM system would do that. Uh, as far as I've seen, there's still original uh, mufflers in there and I think I've seen the cats, which is could explain if the cats are empty, those pops that uh, exhaust producing. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. We still need to check the emission. We still need to check uh, the O2 sensors. The M badge has to be gone because it doesn't meant to be there. There is no M cars in terms of the 2009. Unfortunately, I lost the last piece of video, but as you've seen, there's gonna be whole lots of video in terms of the Z4 content. It's not even Z4, like basically that kind of restoration can be applied to any car, so feel free to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, and put the like for the particular video if you, of course, if you like it. But anyway, it was a pleasure. <laughs>